Before this video starts, I just need you guys to do me a quick favor. I got a new song coming out on the 26th, and all I need you guys to do is simply go in the description, click the pre-save link, then click Spotify pre-save, sign into your Spotify, and pre-save it. You can also pre-order it as well by searching up Silent Night Music, High Pay. I really think you're gonna like it, so please do that right now before the video starts. But anyways, let's get right into the best working glitches in Elden Ring. And yes, you heard me right there, these are the best working these are my favorites and these are the ones that you need to know to get tons and tons of runes and just progress through elden ring the quickest these are so good and these are the ones that i use personally and most of these are solo yes you heard me right there solo so you need no friends for most of these which is really good so definitely watch until the end share this with everybody that you know because these are the best elden ring glitches slash exploits enjoy so for this first one it's going to be later on into the game now if you're a new player stay tuned there is going to be a exploit for you that's going to help you guys out tremendously but here's one that is a little bit later into the game and we're going to be glitching inside of this boss area and basically making it so the boss cannot kill you and you're going to get 500,000 runes instantly with this which is so so good now first step is you want to go all the way over to this boss battle and you want to make sure that you first go into the boss battle to activate the mist. This one is going to be the dynasty boss area but when you guys are done activating the boss you're going to see this mist. Normally you would have to go through the mist and then you will see the boss. Now we're going to skip that mist and we're going to make it so the boss is going to stand still. And all you do for this is you want to take off all of your character's clothes and all of your character's weapons. That will make this glitch a whole lot easier. Then you guys want to jump on top of this right here. Then jump forward on top of this kind of grave thing. Then jump all the way over to this tall thing right here. This tallest object. Then just simply look where I look. You guys want to call in your horse. Now it's not going to let you, but you want to call it in. Now once your character is done doing this part of the animation, you then want to run forward. And then as soon as your character runs, you guys then want to jump. And if you have done that right, then you will see you're going to make this jump. Now that is a difficult jump, but here I go yet again. As you can see, I'm activating the horse. It's not going to fully activate. It's just an animation. Once we get right here, we're going to be running, then jumping, and then we're going to make the jump. That's exactly how you hit that glitch the easiest. Once you guys are right here, you then want to move forward and just around that door, just like you see me. Then just drop down. Once you guys are right here, you want to make sure that you put on all of your stuff. So your equipment, your clothes, everything. Then go to the boss and you're going to see that he's standing still. He is not moving. And that is perfect. Normally, you would have to go through here and kill him and he would fight back. But you glitched it out and you actually made it so you bypassed the mist and you never actually activated the boss fight. So you can sit here and you guys can literally just take him out by hitting him non-stop and he will not kill you. And now if you activate the stuff that makes it so your runes get boosted up higher. So as you see I have this right here. I activated this and this will make it so you guys have more runes. But once you guys activate it you then want to kill that boss. And if you kill that boss, you're going to get a 30% boost in runes. And you're going to be getting 540,000 runes instantly from killing that boss, which is very, very good. So that is that glitch right there. This next glitch is a duplication glitch, which can get you loads and loads of runes and get you basically millions of runes. You can do this right off the bat. So that means all new players can do this. Stay tuned until the end because we got even more exploits that will get you guys tons of runes so let's get right into the duplication glitch you need somebody else for this glitch this is not solo so if you guys do not have anybody to do this with drop a game attack down below man do that right now drop a game attack and somebody might add you and if that doesn't work go right ahead head to the description and join my discord and try to find somebody through that discord but once you guys are done getting another person you then want one person to go into their playstation settings I'm not too sure if you guys can do this in any other console, but I do know this works on PlayStation 4. So all you need to do is simply head all the way over to the saved data management in your settings on PlayStation. And then you guys want to go all the way down to where it says auto upload. You guys want to select that, then go to Elden Ring, then make sure that that is unchecked. Then you want to go all the way to upload to online storage, and then simply upload it to the online storage. 
At this point, you guys are done with that step. Now all you're gonna do is simply head back into your game because that will close your application when you're doing that. When you're back into your game, you guys want to have your friend join your game and then once he is done joining your game all you want to do after that is you guys want to drop the items that you want to duplicate as you can see we're dropping these right here these are the best things to duplicate since you will get runes from these and you can get a ton of runes with this now simply drop them then once you drop them you guys want to have your friend pick up the items as you can see He's picking up the items right now. Now once your friend has officially picked up those items, you then want to close your application. Then go back into your settings, then go to save management, then select saved data in online storage. You want to download the saved data and what this is doing is this is downloading that save that you had when you had those items. So you drop those items, your friend has them but you're downloading the save where you had the items so that means you never lost them and you turned off auto save so it won't auto save and that's how this glitch works now once you guys are done downloading that save go right ahead and head back into the game and if you go back in your game you should realize that you're gonna have those items yet again even though you just dropped them and even though your friend has them now at this point you might simply rinse and repeat have your friend join your game, you're gonna drop those items, then once those items are on the ground, have your friend pick up those items, then after that, you're just gonna close your application, literally so easy, so broken and so easy, close your application, go back into those settings, download that save data, and that'll make it so you have those items yet again. And then once you're done downloading it, simply go ahead and head back into the game, rinse and repeat over and over and over until your friend has the max amount of that item. And you guys can keep on doing this super broken. This is the best way of getting runes. Definitely go ahead and drop a game tag, get a friend and do this right now. Now this next one is perfect for new players. So if you're a new player, take advantage of this. If you're not a new player, stay tuned for his last exploit. You guys wanna head all the way over to this location on the map. As you can see, I'm zooming in and out and this is exactly where I wanna be. Now the start of the game is all the way over here and if you follow this road, then you will go exactly where I'm at. Now once you guys are at this location, you guys wanna go all the way over to this teleporter. You then want to teleport. Now once you are in this spot right here, you want to follow exactly where I go. You guys want to make sure you avoid all the enemies that don't even go near them because they can be OP and you don't want to die. I will be right back once I am done getting to the location. Now right here I did get poisoned, but if you do get poisoned just keep on going forward. And then you guys, it should be right here. Now once you're right here, you guys want to activate this right here so you have your spawn. Then, if you did get poisoned, kind of just go into it and then you guys will see that the poison will go away. But after you get right here, you guys want to take out your horse and then follow me all the way down here. You guys want to keep on going down and then when you're right here, you should see something spawn behind you. As soon as you see it spawn behind you, you guys want to go right ahead, go to your right, turn around. If you have done it right, you should see that it's going to fall like so. Then after it falls, for some pair of reason, you're going to get 1,000 plus runes, which is so much. So after you're done getting those 1,000 runes, you then want to head all the way back up to this right here. You guys want to go into it and then make sure you guys are in a level up selection. Now you guys want to back out of that, then simply go on the horse again, travel down, you guys will see it's going to spawn again as soon as it spawns, turn to your right and turn around. But once you guys are done doing that, you guys will see you're going to get runes, 1000 runes, yet again. And simply all you need to do next is rinse and repeat. And you guys can keep on doing this over and over, stacking those runes, get 10,000 plus in 10 minutes super easily. So here is the last one. This last one is perfect for you guys, especially if you're not a new player. This one just gives you the most amount of runes and with this one, you're going to be getting millions of runes, so enjoy this one. Now to start off this glitch, it is solo, so you need nobody. And you're going to need to progress through the story a little bit. So keep that in mind, you cannot do this right off the bat. And you're going to be going all the way over to this area right here. Now 
but once you guys are in this area you then want to make sure that you have a bow and you want to have arrows once you have those things you then want to make sure that you have this grace unlocked right here then you guys will see that there is a bird right below you you guys want to take out that bow and arrow and simply shoot the bird and then the bird is going to run off the cliff you want to look at the bird until he gets off of the cliff and starts to fall at this point you guys will see you're gonna get 11,000 runes and now once you guys get those 11,000 runes you guys will see enemies on the right and to be honest you don't want to take these out it's best to just take out the bird and that's it it is just way easier to do this other thing and if you just do the bird you're going to be getting 2 million runes per hour so you really don't need to kill these enemies on your right but as soon as you're done killing that bird you then want to go to the grace and just go into the grace then you guys want to back out of the grace at this point you guys want to turn around and you're going to see the bird has respawned at this point all you're going to be doing is taking out that bow and yet again using that bow and hitting the bird with the bow the bird is going to run off the edge of the map you want to look at the bird when he's falling and then you guys can look away and you will see that you're going to get 11,000 runes at this point go into the grace then back out of the grace then you're going to see the bird there yet again you want to keep on rinse and repeating this as fast as you can and you guys will get unlimited runes very easily now if you have this item on the screen right here you guys can make it so you get 40 percent more runes from this exploit so that means instead of getting 11,000 you're going to be getting 14,000 which is even more so go right ahead and make sure you guys activate that if you have that another thing is a golden scarab if you have that that is going to increase your runes gains to 20 more percent so that means you're going to be getting about 16,000 runes from this every time you do this which is just a insane amount of runes it's kind of mind-blowing and you guys literally sit here and just keep on going at this and get those runes like i said in this video you can get up to 2 million runes and that's it these are the best working glitches slash exploits in elden ring there's a duplication glitch there's a boss skip glitch there is just so many cool glitches in this video so definitely take advantage of all of these these will get you tons of runes items and everything like that now stay tuned because i'm gonna have a very insane way of killing every single boss super easily and stay tuned for that you guys will definitely like that video and it will work on basically all of the bosses so that's it for this video and don't forget to smash a like and do not forget to pre-save my new song again link is in the description but anyways that's it hopefully you guys did enjoy this video please like comment and subscribe to become part of the ninja team but anyways that's it hopefully you guys did enjoy have a great day peace out see you guys later